16 years old when I committed my crime in 1988. I was tried as an adult, so I did 30 years in prison uh, and sentenced to a 27 to life. The prison system is so uh, backwards. And um, I think that this angle of, of really targeting the youth, um, getting them while they're young and having that opportunity to change the trajectory of their life is really, really important. Um, I like the way that this documentary was laid out. It kind of had a bit of everything. It had the text on screen, which were, it was giving us uh, statistics and facts and updates. Then we had personal anecdotes from people who were a part of the system and speaking to how they got there, what their experience was like, what it was like after, what it's like now, uh, which I think is really important because when you just have the statistics and you just have the information, um, a lot of the compassion can get lost and a lot of the, the empathy. And I think having that human action, putting like a face to a name and a face to an issue is really, really important. And then we get to hear from the people who are on the ground making, um, making the changes happen and, and working towards that reform. Um, so I thought it was very well-rounded um, overall. And I liked that they, that they, they called out certain people uh, with names and pictures and saying, hey, this person said this and this is what they've done. And there is zero dollars that have gone towards, um, towards this issue. Um, so I thought it was, it was honest as it should be. And I think it's, it's, it's showing that there is really great work being done and there are people who care. And, uh, I really hope this gets in front of a lot of audiences and hopefully uh, policymakers and changes, changers and, and, um, like senators who can make, make reform in an in actual impactful way to try and reform the system. I loved the fact that they introduced everyone and they said what everybody did. That was incredibly helpful. And I thought that this was shot really well. I enjoyed listening to what everybody had to say. And I agreed with a lot. Like I said, it, there needs to be a change with youth reform. And I hope with this film and what the filmmakers did with it, that this film will help bring about that change. Um, I'm glad that there are so many people that care because all you need is one person who cares and that one person can make a difference for somebody else's life. Um, and also in, in something like youth reform, it can make a difference there too. Uh, the music I wanted to talk about because I think it was really smart to just have that single, single piano under the interviews. It gave it this um, subliminal message to let you know just how serious this issue was and that it needed attention. And it was such a subtle thing, that piano, but it had such a huge impact. It's giving a voice to those people in society that society has written off. Um, and I think that's really important, especially when they're talking about the justice system and the incarceration system and how much that traumatizes youth and how much money is put into traumatizing these youths. I think the theme in this was really powerful. Um, and just hearing from so many people that, that have had similar experiences was really powerful. Um, this documentary was mainly made up of interviews and individuals and their stories which I thought was really important, especially since one of the main themes was how the system does not see people as individuals in their system, they, that they don't invest in them as individuals. As one of the, the interviewees was saying, um, the system does not invest in them. They don't know that they're readers or storytellers and they don't try and utilize that or um, grow that in 
the people that are incarcerated. Um, so just to hear this honesty and vulnerability from each of the people that are interviewed and to hear their personal stories um, and the, the, the really powerful part of that is how many of these people have had the same awful traumatizing experience and then how much um, AHJI and ARC has turned that around for them and helped them see their potential. Um, I think that showing what the system does and then how AHJI and, and, system, and projects like A ARC um, have really turned that around for them. Uh, it's black and white as shown in this documentary. There's so much to say about this. And at the end, when the guy did his spoken word, it brought tears to my eyes. Um, Cause sometimes I think you think of people who have been incarcerated, even, you know, the youth, especially males that they just, they're tough. You know, they've got this tough persona and to see this guy express himself, you know, um, through writing poetry, uh, spoken word and giving such emphasis and passion into it. Uh, it made me, it brought me to tears. I just thought it was very touching. This whole documentary was touching and an eye opener to how, just how broken the system is in terms of, you know, helping these people to reform and get back into society and not just be out there, but how to live their best life. Everything technically was there. I didn't even really think about it. <laughs> I was so engrossed in what everybody was saying and the message that the technical stuff didn't even really cross my mind, which is a great thing. Because if it does, then there's probably something that stood out that wasn't so, you know, smooth. But everything I thought was really smooth, well done. The, you know, the sequence of the interviews, everything everybody was saying um, was very important and needed to be added. And everybody really did add their own touch to this, every individual who spoke. I really liked, one, I really want to shout out the interview shots. Those were some excellent S-tier interview shots. The framing was nice. The lighting was nice. The backgrounds were nice. I like the B shot with the slide. I know how hard it is to pull off a good B shot slide as a videographer myself. And it's respect to y'all for pulling that off. Um, to pull it off smooth, smoothly and get the timings right and everything, excellent. Um, also, I wanted to shout out, uh, I wanted to say, um, I really like how this documentary didn't just outline the problem for an hour. It was like, it was like, here's all the problems and they ended with, here's some concrete, actionable steps that I, as the viewer, can take to help solve the issue. Like, like the vibe of like, you've got me to care and all of it, this emotional state, which was very effective, but then now what do I do? And they all really pointed me, pointed the viewers in um, concrete direction to start fixing the problem. So I really respect that. A very moving documentary. It definitely gives you some thoughts from the inside of youth probation and what these individuals think. It shows you some of the trauma they went through. Those who have probation, I'm going to say they never actually state what their crimes were, why they got sent to probation in the first place. But if it was something minor, it should be a forgive and forget. Um, the individuals that they were speaking to seem repentant of their crimes, which is one of the leeways for rehabilitation, I think, is to actually feel sorry for what you did. But we definitely, they're right, we definitely need to fix our system. But it should be based for crime, and minor crimes are something that should be rehabilitated especially if they're youth.